Hi there, people on the internet. Welcome to a war farm video. Yes, I played right? War farm. Now, this video will be a continuation of the previous one. So, if you haven't checked out this video yet, feel free to check it out. I will leave the link in the description. So, enjoy your video. Okay, I hope you have finished or at least watched my previous video about Syndicate. So this is a continuation of the one. Um, given that if you have enough build up the standing to the Syndicate, you can use the Syndicate store and access to the variety of the Warframe augmented mod. But this video, I will show you how you can um, take advantage of that in your farming. And Warframe, you know, Warframe we have farm a lot, so I'm introducing you to a farming frame or the farm frame, which we have a list of Necros, Hydroi, Cora, Atlas, and Ivora. But since those two is kind of hard to deal with, so I'll talk about only three of the choice Necros, Hydro, and Cora here. New player. So let's first talk about Necros. Necros have a desert ability which allow him to destroy corpses. But if you don't want to farm a lot of hours and get a little bit of resource, you need Necros. How to get Necros? You can go to the Magnazilium node in the Deimos, which there you will find the left hand list boss, which and not that hard as you think. They are rather cute. Just use some of your weapon. I recommend you to use a hit scan weapon since you will be able to hit the fleshy pink part of the boss more easily. Just win and repeat. Uh, attack the boss when they are preparing to attack you. That will seal the deal. And uh, it has three hate as they call. Uh, it have a different way to attack so watch for the patterns and yo know, it's all the same once you hit all the three feet and you yeah I got Necros but but yeah actually they 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 part of the the same being so nah not easy later they just splitting on you and say to you like this one yeah that's what I scream when I first fight this boss but in any way, it would be easier to kill them if you beat all the three hit ones. And then you, then here you go. You get a Necros. You get a first fine frame for you, yourself. Hope you like it. Now what? You see, Necros desecrate. You consume 10 energy per corpses if around you. So which Necros at rank 30 he's only have 150 energies and with flow install that numbers go as high as 300 that mean only 30 enemy Q deplete all of the necros energy so yeah and you have running around find more energy for it but no not anymore because now we have the spoil allowing necros to use health instead of energy when you desecrated the corpse. In this uh, footage, you see that I installed the this, this spoil mod and give them a highlight on my health and the health pickup. You see that I constantly losing health uh, due to I constantly desecrating the corpse and maybe the infested enemy are hurting me here. But as you can see, the, de the desecrated ability can relatively give you a lot of health up so the downside has been countered by the energy itself thus allowing you to activate the display for a long time and for that you'll be able to desecrate extra loot throughout the mission you will desecrate more hopes consistently uh, with no pause because you have you never run out of energy or health and with, with this you will have a uh, Good time, a better time for yourself to find farm any resources. Maybe help your friend to farm things that it, it's so hard to get. Who knows? Okay, and that's how cool the Necros. For the next one, we'll talk about Cora. Well, she can use some um, augmented pot too. If you wish to hit as hard as crit 
uh, not, not crit the damage at this on this footage, you need the accommodating recall, which is the argument you can put on Korra for more damage. Yay! And well, this is a bit overkill, but who knows? For the farming part, you need the the Strangle Dome admin. In this footage, I used combination of the two mods, the Pilfering Strangle Dome for more drops and more loot from the enemy, and the Accumulating Recall, which uh, give me more damage to consistently kill this guy, this poor Gudeans guy, but uh, they don't stand a chance. With these two mods, you kill more enemy uh, and get more loot. Aside from Necros, how about how to farm for her? Well, to farm for Korra, you need to finish the new string, the new string quest, and play the uh, Sanctuary Launch Slot mode mission. There are two of them. Any of them will be fine. We usually do it for a uh, reason that the Cephalon Simmer is just the one us to get her. <laughs> so instead, I encourage you to play get Korra from the Dewey circuits. And the next one is for Hydroid. Yeah, Hydroid, our squid guy. Hydroid have a filtering, filtering swarm and viral tempest augment, which is pretty good one for him. In this footage, I use filtering swarm to capture more enemy and uh, to get them drop more loot. Yeah, it's better than the other two options because it helps 100% chance to drop more loot. Well, with Viral Tempest allowing Hydroid to deal both corrosive damage and viral damage at the same time on his first ability, which is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Dealing a priming, priming enemy with viral before choosing, uh, damaging the enemy with your uh, immensely powerful corrosive damage from his buff. After his reworking, he's kind of good for me, like at least. I can pick him up in my arsenal and uh, enjoying murdering people with lots of corrosive damage. But here's now where to farm Hydroid. You can farm Hydroid in the beginning. No, 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 not. I mean, I mean, uh, you can farm for Hydroid from the Oro node on Earth. The Oro mission is assassination, which you fight the Chancellor Vahix. Well, uh, this lovely face, you have to get used to his screams and many laughter. I kind of love that. He's cute though. The fight isn't that tough. Uh, it's relatively easy if you have enough uh, experience or acquiring enough arsenal to deal with him. The fight doesn't took very long, really long. It'd rather be a short experience. Just you and his many collapser. And there you go. You get a hydroid. Just repeat this mission until you get the hydroid. And you're good to go. This three warframe is good in its own way. But overall you will need them to help you farm the resources. We have lots of resources in Warframe to, for you to enjoy. And by any chance, if you like, love this video, if you find it informative, please leave a like and subscribe. I would love to see that. Thank you.